The law of polarity, in general terms, reflects the belief that everything is binary or dual. It says all elements, be living or non-living, have two poles and that everything has its reverse aspect. There are opposite sections, two dimensions or two poles to all things which are duly perceived or manifested. The law of polarity is also applicable to human relations. Every human feeling and emotion has a dual aspect. If there is sorrow one day, there will also be joy on another day. Similarly, if one individual is overjoyous due to some achievements, another person may be mourning the death of the nearest one. However, as per scientific deductions, it is a condition or state of an atom or molecule having both positive and negative charges, particularly in terms of electrical or magnetic poles. Also, polarity refers to the physical properties of compounds or materials such as melting points, boiling points, and solubility. The law of polarity states that there is an opposite to everything that exists. People can imagine that there is a scale from minus to plus in every degree all along. So they can put everything they can learn on this scale. These may be emotions like pleasure, security, affluence, warmth, sharpness, etc. This rule explains that there's an equal and opposite of anything that people expect. Consequently, if people encounter a small failure, there is an equivalent degree of success that can be triggered elsewhere. It makes perfect sense when one seriously thinks about this policy, because in its absence there is nothing to compare. How could people know if, without anything to compare with, they are actually experiencing progress? So they must have other factors to experience the current ones. They will gain an appreciation for everything they experience through grasping this rule, since one knows that it is also important to undergo the direct opposite. How does it impact the business scenario? Entrepreneurs need to recognize that everything they experience at the outset in a business is subject to the law of polarity. Since this is the case, no matter what is going on, they need to feel very fortunate. One will generate more positives if the commercial venture is successful and feel less secure if it turns bad. To turn the situation around, businesses must attract the responses that they have learned so far. One may take a standard business scenario to explain the law of polarity in business and try to comprehend the implications. For instance, a car distributor has only had three consecutive months in which revenues have risen over the same period last year and is still struggling under budget to date for the current financial year. There are two options for the management. Either they can focus on the negative aspect of the outcome and convey this mindset in the enterprise, or they can be positive and allow this feeling to penetrate the said business ambience for whatever growth being attained. It is a case of two natural laws intersecting one another. The law of vibration and attraction will guarantee they have more of the same by focusing on the negative side. However, business houses open up the door to learn from the recent standing and take steps to build an even better revenue performance by accepting the fact that they are delivering at a certain level right now and being happy for these consequences. The real business discipline is the implementation of a thought process that must be accompanied by this law. Workers need to judge the positive in all aspects for a business to survive and profit from this law of nature. It is not easy because a lot of the learning in life from the very early years seems to be negative. It is confirmed on a regular basis by the mainstream community as one gets more experience. As such, a major challenge that takes a lot of discipline and practices for the common man is to transform this thought process and look through the positivity in all. A Summary of Lessons for Business Corporate The key lessons for companies witnessing and learning to live with this prudent act can be summarized as follows. 1. People in business should accept that there is an exact opposite to everything. While doing so, businesses will realize that if it goes well, the potential exists for the reverse to happen. Similarly, 
recognizing that they can produce exceptional sales, income, and growth when they are facing the odds. 2. To get to know all that have developed everything they encounter being in an organization, identifying individuals and situations to blame is not the proper way. Instead, they need to just concentrate more on what they don't like. 3. Besides, one needs to understand that people have a choice to make between staying in the present conditions or what they want to create in the future. People should note, without being getting disappointed, that they could not have known the emotions of success without the element of failure. 4. Entrepreneurs need to train workers to identify the present conditions and to imagine the exact scenarios they desire. The more people get to know how to do it and practice it regularly in the corporation, the stronger they will be in the long run. Finding the positive in all things is the message from this unique and natural law. One should not ignore it simply because business entities encounter disappointing results, reduced revenue, excessive retention of workers, or a loss of market share. That will always exist. Only as long as people give it strength will it stay with them for a positive results in the future. By visualizing the outcomes that one really wants, the instant that the majority of the staff could see the positive things, they begin a move toward the opposite side of the spectrum. By the mixture of thinking and action, all are capable of building their own future. An organization is essentially a group of individuals. Thus, if management could assist individuals to reflect on what objectives they want to accomplish and can envision the achievement of the enterprise, it would surely materialize to a great extent. In every minute thing, there is an element of opposition. Every coin has two sides, which are heads and tails. These sides relate to equal and opposite extremes, poles of the same category as are warm and cold temperatures, sentiments of love and hate, emotions of pain and elation, and so on. If something that people interpret as negative happens, they should acknowledge that there is potential for an equal motive of positivity in it. There is only slight happiness in it if anything is only a little bad. So, witnessing a catastrophic event, get curious as they want to find the cause. There is the potential for so much success. That is how this law can be used to remain on a high momentum and to find the benefits that will come from their competitors. Polarity as per scientific terms Polarity does exist in chemical analysis in the manner wherein atoms bind with each other. In chemical bonding, as atoms come closer, they share electrons. A polar molecule emerges when a powerful combination of force is exerted by one of the atoms on the electrons in the newly formed bond. The electrons are attracted more toward the atom so that the molecule shows a small imbalance of energy. So, within a neutral atom, electrons in a cloud circle form the nucleus of the atom. The atoms share these electrons as they bind with each other. In this scenario, the clouds of electron density intersect with one another. In a covalent bond, wherein electrons are exchanged equally, it is most evident. However, when a molecule is in a polar state, the electrons tend toward one of the bond's atomic properties. Based on the atoms involved, the exact picture of the electron density clouds for these bonds will vary. By a periodic term known as electronegativity, the polarity of a bond is calculated. Electronegativity is an indication of the propensity of an atom in a chemical bond to attract electrons. To determine a bond's polarity, the gap in the electronegativity of the atoms involved must be identified. The bond would be polar in nature if the differential varies between 0.4 and 1.7. This bond would carry an ionic character when the gap is bigger. It implies that the less electronegative element would be extracted from the electrons and they will spend all their time orbiting the more electronegative component. The bond would be non-polar covalent if the gap in electronegativity is less than 0.4. It shows that the electrons are equally shared among the atoms 
and there is no polar attribute to the bond. The resulting difference in the partial charges of an atom is termed as a dipole moment in a polar bond. At the more electronegative portion, the adverse partial charge is placed. At the less electronegative portion, the positive partial charge is deposited. The dipole moments will give the entire molecule a reciprocal net dipole moment in the individual bonds that form a molecule. Although it is said that the molecule is electrically neutral due to its dipole condition, it still has some attractive as well as repulsive effects. It can contribute to some distinct properties of molecules. For instance, the molecular dipole moment of the water molecule contributes to the usual high surface tension of water properties. The individual bonds of a molecule seem to be polar in some situations, but the molecule itself does not conform to the principle of polarity. It happens when due to equal intensity and reverse physical orientation, the partial charges offset each other. The carbon dioxide molecule, for instance, comprises two bonds of carbon-oxygen. Oxygen and carbon have an electronegativity of 3.5 and 2.5, respectively. They have one notable distinction, suggesting that each carbon-oxygen bond is said to be polar. However, the atoms are supposed to be linearly oriented within the carbon dioxide molecule, with the carbon staying in the middle. The two oxygen atoms seem to cancel the partial charges, forming a nonpolar molecule. Therefore, polarity refers to a physical property that relates to compounds that applies to other physical properties too, such as boiling and melting points, solubility, and molecular interactions. Even though, for the major part, a strong connection exists between a molecule's polarity and the number and forms of current polar or nonpolar covalent bonds. A molecule may well have polar bonds in a few instances in a symmetrical structure, which eventually leads to a nonpolar molecule like carbon dioxide. The Law of Polarity and Human Relations The law of polarity implies that everything is dual. Everything has converse poles. Everything has its opposing forces. Perhaps many individuals have gone through the transition from love to hatred and the other way around. But do all of them know the prospect of utilizing the willingness to achieve this process? How does one do it with a motive in mind? Both love and hate are integral parts of the law of polarity. People can rightly justify that they should constantly look for positive vibes among people and circumstances. Besides, they should make a persistent move to climb up the polarity that exists in the pole. People know that there's a negative impact too, but they have to make a choice to consider positive things and go for the good things in life. Great thoughts draw positive vibrations, and positive vibrations connect to good traits. There's always the reverse. People can choose what they wish to focus on in a difficult situation. What goes around is the law of perpetual transmutation. It crops up, making it twice as powerful. Therefore, people may choose to slide the elements of polarity up the pole, no matter how painful it becomes. Ultimately, it pays off because of the rewards that it would offer. The eventual success is the end result. It should always be kept in mind, did people ever think it was bad for them? Has anything good happened afterward, and people have a smile for the rest of the day? Have people ever felt that they didn't like anyone, and then someone else was talking about how good they were and how well did they enjoy their life? How accomplished those persons are in a field where they shine? Did individuals ever feel they hate the looks of a Christmas gift presented by one of their dearest friends? On the other hand, people might have liked a particular gift from a less known person. People often change their mind, and that may happen several times a day. The essence is mind fluctuations can be positive to see the benefit in everything. Sliding down the pole of polarity and convert it into negativity 
is just too convenient. Then, sliding up becomes a habitual and smooth action. The more people do it, the clearer it will get. Habits imply doing something without much thought. The law of polarity implies there is something positive when one observes something negative. Now, everybody knows that one can make a deliberate attempt to look for something better that could just be waiting for him. What is the effect of the law of polarity? Stress, anxiety, experiences, financial conditions are some of the key impacts. People need to try to analyze deeper and make the correct decision. The law of polarity stresses that there is an opposite aspect to everything. Pain happens only when there's joy. Contentment only occurs after one suffers the agonizing physical and mental pain. Good days happen in one's life simply because there were poor times in the past. According to the law of polarity, when something negative happens, there always exists something positive inside. It appropriately suggests that all these difficult and tough times are for human benefits, or at least by looking for the positive in them, one can make them that way. Usually, rich experiences teach people that a negative incident is a great learning curve to step in the doors of positivity. People simply have to choose to see the positive rather than the negative in every ongoing event. The law of polarity also specifies that the good elements are well hidden in the bad, and it is always in equal proportion to bad elements. If it is just the kind of evil, then it's just the kind of good, too. If it is tragic, then one should expect something within it that is expecting a surprising better thing in the future. One experiences the stints of sorrow when he or she faces the painful sufferings of prolonged unemployment and all that goes with that. However, because of the development and learning that one attains, it is always beneficial for him to decide the future course of action with a clear mind. The contradiction is a natural aspect of human lives, and it makes it easier to cope with the tough times ahead when one knows this fact. People have realized that they are much happier and more capable of dealing with the challenges when they withdraw backward to look for the positive in disaster. For many, this has been the answer. From practice, people have to concentrate on the positive and not on the negative. When one lives with evil, it seems the evil persists. Then, like a miracle, more success seems to pour in when they focus on the positives. People seem to look past the difficulty and see the positive within. When they can see beyond the negative in their struggles, their issues become manageable and not like the devastating experiences they faced once upon a time. During people's tough times, the law of polarity makes them think more strongly. This law has allowed them to get through those stressful and hard times. They never know how things will turn out for them in the future, but if they keep on thinking correctly and rationally, then the bad days are no longer so terrible. The law of polarity always believes in dissimilar things in every walk of life. Since the North Pole exists, the South Pole will naturally exist. Since the sun shines, the shadows are sure to fall. Since good things persist, the ugliest scenario is sure to dominate. Likewise, sorrow follows joy. Similarly, life and death are integral parts of living creatures. A natural law is a fact that one can count on at any time, in any situation, and it remains always valid. At a certain point in time, when life becomes most disappointing and depressing, this law has the power to bring back hope and expectations. People know that every persisting problem has a valid solution, and credit goes to the law of polarity. All one has to do is to open up his mind and thoughts to find it. This natural law is always in force. One has to pick which aspect of a dilemma or situation to look at, which may either the dark or the light that follows either desperation or comfort. The Law of Polarity The Process of Implementation There's a counterpoint of everything. It's equally good to have a poor situation. Amidst a bad scenario, one must look for the good 
and there'll be more decent things waiting for him. Looking for good during difficult times will definitely bring peace and harmony. An individual who undergoes this kind of situation would feel instant rage and frustration. And why does that happen to him? He was probably going to bang his head against the wall and scream out in despair, wake up the sleeping family members to make them jittery, and go on fighting for a trivial issue. It would eventually be a terrible experience and take longer to subside. Now, people have sufficiently researched how the law of polarity works, and they have been trying their best to apply their knowledge to different situations covering their life. Sometimes, amazing things do happen. Life experiences are not monotonous. They are full of ups and downs. Starting to notice the positive stories about human life is a perfect way to follow the law of polarity. Gratitude is something important to the principle that one must follow. One must spend ten minutes minimum at the beginning and each of every day to reflect upon the positive things that have happened and to thank the Almighty for the kindness. Whenever one observes something positive, he or she should appreciate the grace of God for the benevolence. In brief, it is the law of polarity. It's one of the fundamental laws that control human lives, the same as the law of attraction. People have to know that each one of the conditions of human lives is neutral while using the law of polarity to their advantage. The definition of human perspective relates to each human being. They can choose to see the positive or to feel the negative as they come by. All persons have a different outlook and carry their independent point of view. Each day one can make this kind of option. Certain options are minor, and some decisions stand out with the ever-changing life cycle. People can find some stumbling blocks in their path while they are on the road to achieving some of their loftiest dreams and objectives. People have discovered that it is during the struggle that they excel the most and overcome every barrier. Otherwise, to the best of one's ability, people will become defensive and not use any of their inherent skills. Just like their profession, life will become repetitive and dull. Accepting the challenge brings a sense of victory. The harder is the struggle, the more glorious will be the taste of triumph. If one attains some objectives very easily, it has no value. And if people learn something the hard way, that gives everything its value. When faced with tough times, one should just note that not only will it move with time and people will be happier, but the mission will be within their reach. Just as the morning follows the night, as good overcomes the evil during the war, as love overshadows hatred, everything falls in place after a debacle. This is the law of polarity. Life is just as nice and blissful as it is harsh and cruel. If something is evil, there is good as well. If there's something really bad, then on another side it is really sweet too. This law is a dominant force in human life because when life appears to be very pathetic, it gives people a ray of hope. The law of polarity stresses on extremism like hot is completely opposite of cold. It implies that, depending on which end people do exist, everything between these two extremes is considered a particular degree of hot or cold. The same principle applies to high and low levels as well. One end is high, and the other end is always low. No one likes to make mistakes, and one finds some guiding force to correct the wrongdoing. It is as per the law of relativity. Does this mean that the corrections are wrong? It is of course not. People would have some flaws when they first try to communicate in public. Learning from them is the main objective. Just because there were some things in a public speech that didn't go too well doesn't imply that it was a complete loss. One should learn from things that we have not worked out. People need to ask themselves how they can make it work. They will find everything working their way to the brighter side of the spectrum. For the entire world, what does everything has an opposite aspect imply? And how do people use it to accomplish what they want? 
To be specific, it suggests that it must have both the elements of positive and negative forces by definition. Not only that, the degree of both the extremes should be equivalent. Whenever something bad happens, one must understand that there has to be an equal proportion of good in it. To get past the bad phase and focus on the positive, all people have to do is to reorient the filter of perception. The polarity rule is a great tool to help mankind refocus and draw optimism within the self. While using this tool, the most positive vibe people will have is to feel a sense of gratitude. The sense of gratitude makes it possible for people to attract more of the happiness one has experienced. It is obvious that in human lives, people can use more positive things, and they definitely want more happy feelings to turn up for them. All this becomes feasible and so much clearer when they have the law of polarity to enforce. The law of polarity is always an effective means in human life. One needs to expect and assume it is there, and by finding and showing appreciation for the good one is the essence that demonstrates trust in the relevant law. The blessing would possibly be disguised due to the existence of this statute. It's going to sound like an unpleasant, unwelcome, negative occurrence, but if one looks at what's really there in past actions, he will find the feeling wonderful moments that are solely his and sent to him alone. People can learn an important lesson from the law of polarity. They can notice that while there would always be an equal but opposite gain, the reward will not always take the same nature as the negative event often does. Secondly, the occurrence becomes an opportunity that draws the near ones even closer together and helps people to respect each other and spend time together. All the possible affection, support, and concern from family and friends are highly preferred. The negative incident that often happens in human lives is not all completely bad, and it is certainly comparable in intensity to the pleasant things that may happen. By believing and having confidence that an amount of positivity is there, people should be thankful for what they have found, so that the good will comes as a natural flow. If people realize the truth, it does not matter what is inner meaning and what no matter how awful someone's condition is. All people have habits that carry bad tastes to some extent, and also have pleasant habits which are admired. They can change it if they go around believing at will. One should always take for the positive in everyone, compliment the qualities that all appreciate. One should pay favor to somebody who will make him feel good as well. Therefore, everything is about perception. As people have known before, everything in the universe is in constant motion. People are in a constant state of vibration from the earth rotating on its axis, the rising and setting of the sun that concerns human existence. That is why applying the law is very important. It does not entirely mean mental operation. It is the inherent thought process. The rhythm law is quite identical to the polarity law. There will be both lows as well as highs in human life. One will not necessarily feel refreshing all the time. The lows help people appreciate the highs and allow them to protect their thoughts and consider something enjoyable while they are in a low state of mind. It sounds very simple, but to keep the vibration up as long as they can, people have to practice it. Good days are coming for those who dream for the best. The most disconcerting thing about human life is that the highs will always be chased by the lows, and vice versa. People need to be mindful of shifting their thoughts to help them get back on track while they are in the lows. The concept of flip-switching will lift a little bit of human vibration and cause people to think of another, even stronger feeling. It is a superior feeling when one goes from a depressed state to an aggressive state. People should just keep raising their hopes slowly, and they can have the capacity to recover fast. Depolarization and Transformation Also, there is an exception to the law of polarity. It is called depolarization. In mutual polarity, 
When one partner or both attempt to shift their energy to appease the other, depolarization happens. If a feminine partner feels insecure or dejected, she will make up for it while applying more male traits. If a male partner feels challenged or dominated, he can become less decisive and lose polarity. The couples no longer have the interaction of male and female forces between them. The same kind of energy is channeled by both parties, which triggers the relationship to become stale, strained, or inconsistent. No matter how crazy and damaging it becomes, the male counterpart needs to learn to accept the female force in their conjugal life. When faced with the solid and strong presence of her masculine companion, the feminine partner may feel happier than ever. The law of polarity says that women folk should learn to trust their masculine liberty and their ability to behave clearly, despite depressing feelings. Besides, it makes the male partner accept the feminine strength and innate intuition and concentrate on love and affection. What makes a successful relationship work is that it is common to have things distinct, rare, and passionate. Rather than conjugal polarity, there is more to this law of attraction. The law of polarity provides mankind with a useful technique for shifting the mindsets. If people realize that every negative has a positive, they can prefer to concentrate on the positive. It can be difficult to notice that there is some other way of viewing the world when people get caught in a pessimistic slump. They typically concentrate on these feelings if they feel lonely, dissatisfied with the present job, or feeling a sense of discontent. Such negative thoughts often appear to be accompanied in their lives by negative events and confirmed negative thoughts. It is an almost never-ending vicious cycle, but it can be broken. One must first change his or her fundamental restricting values to learn the law of polarity and extend it to every dimension of life. If people are dissatisfied with their work, all of the existing attention is focused on finding a new job. People concentrate on positive vibes and strive to accomplish the defined objectives. However, one will continue to attract an unsatisfactory employment route if he has not delved deeper enough to recognize the underlying restricting conviction for the current misery. It is perhaps a fear of rejection or an assumption that he does not deserve fulfillment. For a couple relation, the same law applies. It could be due to the limited values if people are unable to accept the natural energies in the conjugal relationship. Fundamental convictions that people are not enough prepared or that they will reject their partner can cause them to mask their real potency. Being upset in previous relationships can also trigger to put on the mask of pretensions, and instead of letting the real self shine, they tend to concentrate on satisfying others. There are two polarities of purpose and manifestation, much as a battery cell has two polar opposite terminals, positive and negative. Individuals will put the correct form of energy into their intentions until they understand how the law of polarity operates. People can also combine it with their content in a way that maximizes the odds of winning, namely the things they are trying to accomplish. There are two ingredients to every human thought process, which are substance, content, and energy. Hence, if individuals want to project a new love, then the respective raw material is the substance of individual purpose. Until then, energy is the force that motivates the intent. It is the element of energy that is tightly correlated with the law of polarity, and the human subconscious deeply influences this aspect of energy. As maintained by the law of polarity, everything in the universe has a dual intention. So things that seem to be contradictory are two different manifestations of the same thing. For instance, one can think of hot and cold. While they're opposites, they're both on the same range, and without the opportunity for the other, people can't have one in its entirety. Anything people want to manifest can be thought about in the same manner. Too much availability, for instance, is indivisible from financial absence. 
Love is incompatible from being alone, and success is inseparable from disappointment. Each comes with the opposite opportunity. This is the beginning of the perfect implementation of the law of polarity. The energy level of human intentions is influenced by the deep-seated negative assumptions in the subconscious, like some people are not good enough to succeed or beautiful enough to fall in love. So even though people think about the substance of an intention, such as getting a suitable partner or receiving an amazing work responsibility, this intentional substance may not be in line with the emotional energy of mankind. People have a powerful intentional stream of thought that will help them manifest if they are feeling strong emotions, such as thrill and joy, in conjunction with their said intentions. If those feelings are either not there or terribly inconsistent, they lack the right sort of deliberate current. In relation to individual intentions, one should make a list of the feelings he or she encounters. They should evaluate whether or not they are connected to a powerful interintentional current. One can visualize a battery with its opposite polar terminals, a positive and the other negative. If one links it to a circuit in one way, electron flow can generate a current. If one hooks the battery up to a circuit in the opposite direction, the flow of electrons will reverse and the electron ingredients will flow in the opposite direction in an identical current discharge. If people want to raise the current, any extra battery can be placed to a line to create a current in the same direction. If any of them face the wrong direction, the current will be disrupted and the system will not function. In certain ways, individuals working with the law of attraction do not have an optimal flow of energy since both polarities and attraction are mistakenly used at once. They essentially cancel each other out if they have both polarities present simultaneously and at an identical magnitude. Even if people are putting a lot of energy into their intentions, and if they are unintentionally combining polarities, they are working against themselves. One should try to spend some time thinking about whether that could be true for all. Even though the law of polarity is distinct from the law of attraction, the two function together in some intriguing ways that impact the specific capacity for realization. The law of attraction teaches that all possible things attract the other objects in the vibrational equilibrium with which humans exist, and these are the psychological traits that focus on the mental strength of mankind. In electricity, magnetism, and electronic signaling, polarity is widely used. There is a constant voltage flowing between two points or objects which refer to electromotive force, EMF, or electric potential. One of the points or particles, poles, has more electrons than the other. The polarity of bonds emerges primarily from the interaction of different electronegativities among atoms and molecules. It can be explained through different perspectives. The quality or state of a body under which it manifests opposite or contrasting characteristics or forces in opposite or alternating parts or directions, or that condition which gives rise to a contrast of traits corresponding to a difference of positions, such as attraction and repulsion in opposite parts of a magnet, different anomalies based on various sides of a magnet, all relate to polarity. The law of polarity states everything has its opposite side. If there is sadness, then there must be happiness. There must be a pleasure if there is suffering. There must be an achievement if there is failure. There must be wellness if there is an illness, and so on. No matter what individuals face throughout their lives, they can understand that it's a resultant effect or complete package. In each experience, they can find a positive or negative impact. The law of polarity allows individuals to recognize that each problem often brings a solution or a constructive blessing which is comparable to the complexity of the challenges in human life. It is necessary to develop opposite muscles for physical balance to have equivalent strength, otherwise the muscles that are tougher begin to take over. 
For instance, the stable leg of the body bears the burden of the other impaired limb if one has ever sprained or broken a leg, and sometimes becomes bloated or out of alignment. One can summarize the central idea of the law of polarity in human life in this manner. A reaction in the opposite direction is due to the unnecessary increase of something. It is only concerning darkness that light is significant, and reality presupposes a mistake. The element of individuality in human lives is supposed to be these mixed opposites, which make it sharp and thrilling. In terms of this dispute, people live only in the region where they fight by their skin color. So many people consider both success and failure as opposites, but both are the results of the same mechanism. People sometimes make bizarre observations. Scientists often feel very confident while convincing others every time that happiness is not a possibility anymore. Yet, while conversing with poor people, one may find them quite contented. The opposite of bravery is not cowardice, but obedience. Even an uprooted plank can move with the flow of the river. To summarize, the law of polarity imparts the lesson that everything in life is constantly changing. If people are going through a good phase, it does not necessarily mean that they will never come across a trying period. The bottom line is to admire the light when in the dark.